<laughs> I'm Rebecca O'Neill, y'all, and I am trying to get my shit together. Uh, trying, trying, thank you. Mm, yeah, mark me down as having tried. Uh, anybody else in here trying to get your shit together? Okay, oh, somebody's like, not I. Uh, you just, you just, you perfect already. I like that, okay. Clap it up for this perfect individual here. Um, me though, me myself personally, I'm trying to get my shit together. I had this moment where I realized we're all on earth, right? Uh, just eating each other's asses and catch a coronavirus. So I'm like, baby girl, switch some things up. So I'm getting my shit together. I stopped eating red meat. I stopped drinking coffee. I started working out. Uh, I cut all my shirts and the crop tops. I don't know what the hell's going on, y'all. Like, you know that moment when you realize you gotta change something, but you don't know what you gotta change, so you're just trying shit? That's where we are right now. Just choose your own adventure. I don't know what is up. Um, but we're doing it. I, uh, I, my personality's gotten weird. I was locked in the house for a long time. <laughs> And I'm an extrovert. You can't lock an extrovert in the house. Like, I'm having shower arguments every single day. I'm losing some of them. Like, I don't... I think every essential worker is my friend because they got to talk to me. And this is... Now, I know that gender is both a construct and a spectrum, but... But I know now that if I was a man, I'd be the type of man like, no, this stripper love me. Like, it's... A, it's, a, it's, a, it's sad, y'all. It's sad. I'm a simp for human interaction. Who knew? Who knew? I learned something about myself trying to get my shit together, though. It's embarrassing. I learned that all my friends I used to think were boring, uh, turns out they've just been making great decisions this whole time. And I'm like, oh, word? Because I thought you were like a dull bitch. Turns out, turns out you got impulse control. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm up here wondering why my life is like love and hip hop. Meanwhile, the call is coming from inside the thought. I did it. I made these decisions. Wow. Wow. I also deal with a little depression. We're going to normalize being a bad bitch with depression because we out here, okay? Representation matters. Representation matters. I am a depressed extrovert, though. That's unacceptable because my whole personality is like, everybody check out how sad I am. No, nobody want to do that. I will get real with y'all though. Over the pandemic, it's the first time in a long, long time I've thought about getting back on antidepressants, okay? I haven't been on antidepressants in a decade. I'm older than you think, do not ask, okay? I told my friends this and they were really supportive. They just had a few questions like, okay, you were on antidepressants before. What did it feel like? Like, why do you want to get back on them? And I was honest. Being on antidepressants feels like your brain is being gentrified. That's what it feels like. It really does. It's like the property value has gone up, but I don't recognize this place. Like, You know what I'm saying? Like, where's the liquor store? Who fixed the sidewalk? Finally, wow, okay, interesting. There's white women jogging around my brain at night. Streets is dead. Streets is dead. I don't, I don't let depression stop my show, though. Like, I insist on having a good time. We insist on having fun. Yeah. Um, I dress like this, as, it's all cap. Um, it's more like, I like to do colorful outfits more as like poisonous tree frog. Like, look at my colors, stay the fuck away from me. But um, I meet a lot of men over the summer. They see the, the outfit and they're like, party girl, I understand this. Fast forward to spooky season, I'm like, surprise nigga, I'm depressed. So um, every year, like clockwork, I love it. Uh, because here's the thing, it's like an emotional mullet. Like sadness on the inside, party on the outside. You feel me? Like, Okay, and my style icon would appreciate this. My style icon is like, what if Fran Drescher from The Nanny were broken on SSRIs? I know you fucking see it. I know you fucking see it. Okay, so over pandemic, I learned a few things about myself. Number one, capitalism can't do it. I reject, yes. I reject hustle culture altogether. Like, I don't wanna work hard. Like, strong black women, I don't wanna do that shit no more. Um, not me, not today. So I am putting myself up for adoption. Um, adopt me, I'm kidding. <laughs> Literally, I don't want to work hard anymore. I don't want to work any harder than like Cassie did in the Me and You video. If you're not familiar, get on the internet, okay? Get on your lo closest internet. Look up Cassie, Me and You. The and is an ampersand, the U is a letter U. Get it right, okay? This is a genius from about 15 years ago. She came out with this song and video called Me and You, okay? The song has about five to six notes in it. Cassie didn't even bother giving us the whole octave. Where's her MacArthur Genius Grant? Like, literally. She did one half a wardrobe change, three-fourths of a spin, and collected a bag. And I'm like, I will live my life this way. Like, this girl, 
is an absolute genius. Because if you think about it, under late capitalism, any form of relaxation is resistance. And that's what I'm gonna tell people when I'm being lazy. So, um, cause billionaires don't work hard. Like I learned the bi billionaires and the 1% don't work as hard as like essential workers or the rest of us. They call it the working class for a reason. We busting our asses. Um, and I don't believe in billionaires. It, well, I believe billionaires are real. Like I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think Elon Musk is like an urban legend or anything, but like, I know it's not tooth fairy shit. When I say I don't believe in billionaires, I mean like, I don't believe that the methods you have to use to like hoard that much wealth are ethical and I think they're inherently harmful to our society. But, Brooklyn, y'all better stop clapping. Uh, I don't think it's like a Bigfoot situation. Oh, Bigfoot tangent. Okay, um. Bigfoot, real or fake? Real. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so look. If Bigfoot is real, just follow me. <laughs> Bigfoot is real. We're the villains in Bigfoot's story. If Bigfoot is the main character, humans are the antagonists because, okay, just empathize with me real quick. Um, in your mind's eye, you're now Bigfoot, all right? You're Bigfoot, you're at home in the woods. You're walking around your house, the woods naked. That's your prerogative as Bigfoot. Um, next thing you know is six blurry pictures of your ass in the news. <laughs> People are on the World Wide Web, Twitter fingers, arguing about whether or not you're real. And all I'm saying is, we're the villains in Bigfoot's story. Um, I'm just saying that's exactly what we did to Britney Spears. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. I love Britney, don't groan. Uh, she's free now, okay. Uh, I really smoke a lot of weed to deal with my mental health problems. Um, yeah. One of my favorite activities is to smoke weed and watch science fiction movies at the very same time. Uh, I love doing it. I've watched so much sci-fi over this pandemic that I've noticed some very alarming patterns. Um, first of all, every dystopian science fiction movie, the plot is, what if, now follow me on this, what if white people were oppressed? And I'm like, oh wow, what if, okay. Every single alien invasion movie is like, now hear me out. <laughs> what if white people experience colonization? Like what? Can you imagine such a far-fetched premise as of being oppressed and colonized? So I watched that shit. So um, I roll up a fat one. I'm watching cable a few channels down in the TV guide. There's a movie on, and the title of the movie is Yo Robot. And I'm like, absolutely. Yo Robot's about to be amazing. Like I'm picturing it in my head. Dystopian future, right? Post-apocalypse. Dirty teenagers and like dirty, like rags and shit being forced into categories. <laughs> oppressed by the system. Yo, robot, protect me. I got you, little nigga. You know all that shit. <laughs> Sepia tones, all of the above. Here's the thing though. I turn to your robot, super excited, ready to watch this movie. And tell me why um, your robot turns out to be iRobot in Spanish? <laughs> Will Smith and everything is the same movie, top to bottom. <laughs> and all I'm saying is, who could have seen that coming? You know, not, not I, not yo, or whatever. I'm not a polyglot. I didn't do my Duolingo, but um, do you think I watched the entire movie? Yes. See, yes, I did.